Hello, beautiful people. David here, pronouns these ems are. I'm the deputy director for Black and Pink. It's been quite the year for us. We've experienced some setbacks, um, a lot of growth opportunities, but it's all been forward momentum. And I'd like us all to pause um, and take a collective breath. Let's reflect back uh, on the moment and think about where Black and Pink came from. So Black and Pink was founded in 2005 when Jason Leiden, our founder, gathered some people around a dinner table and began to write letters for the people he had left behind. It was a beautiful, fulfilling community moment. And since then, Black and Pink has grown into this community goodness uh, that you see today. And I'll say it again, a letter can change a life. And I know that it did mine. Back when I was incarcerated, my parents had passed away about three weeks before I stepped inside prison walls and I was navigating grief. I didn't know how to ask for what I needed. I didn't know how to exist in a world where I couldn't say I love you to my parents, where I could give them a hug, where I could tell them, you know, about my day and about the ups and the downs. And had it not been for Jean, I'm not sure that I would have survived prison. It was really traumatizing. It was, it was violent. I experienced sexual assault when I was on the inside. And unfortunately, that story is not uncommon. So many of our members experience violence. They experience sexual abuse. The system is inherently dehumanizing. It's inherently traumatizing for queer and trans people like myself. And when you're engaging in a pen pal relationship, it sends a signal to the inside members. It sends a signal to the prison wardens that our people matter. That, they're, that they're, they can be cherished, um, that their lives matter. And these forged connections can really help demolish the barriers that allow the prison industrial complex to survive in the first place. The idea is that when individuals on the outside begin seeing the people they correspond with as human, they begin to connect that to, oh, well, they have dignity and they have worth. And they begin to understand that no individual should be imprisoned. So if you believe that prisons are inherently violent, check out our pen pal program. If you believe that people trapped behind prison walls are deserving of care and loving kindness, then go to our website and, and sign up to be a pen pal. And if you believe that dedicated acts of love and service are a life-changing experience for people who are trapped on the inside, then our pen pal program is for you. Our inside members would love to connect with you. So here's a quick process to get involved. Signing up for the program is very simple. We have an entire section on our website that's dedicated to it. Uh, I just ask that you check our community guidelines uh, for being a prim pal. It's very, very important that you do so. We have no real specific requirements, but we do ask you to check in with yourself. There's a couple questions that you should sit with. Do you have the capacity to commit to an ongoing relationship? One letter isn't gonna cut it. Um, our members sometimes spend years on the inside. And a lot of times the only contact they have with humans, if they're in solitary confinement, is with somebody on the outside who's writing a letter to them. Are you also prepared to hear about some really depressing stories or some stories that are not gonna make you feel all that great? Um, you're gonna hear about people who have survived sexual abuse on the inside. You're gonna hear about people who have survived physical assault. It's what happens. It happened to me and it's better for you to be prepared for that up front. But I'm also gonna let you know that you are gonna find incredible stories of resilience. You're gonna find stories of celebration and moments to take joy in. And do you also have a support system in your life that's gonna help you navigate this? We have a pen pal uh, Facebook group, but it's always a good reminder to have people in your community to check in with when these stories get to be a little bit too much. And then lastly, are you okay with sharing information, personal information with someone that you don't yet know? And let me tell you, it's okay to say no to these questions. We have other opportunities for you to get involved. Ask us to be a volunteer. We'd love to have you. And I'll leave you with this. Being a pen pal means you have to communicate clearly about your needs. You know, this could be as simple as how often do you write or what topics you will and will not talk about. It means that you're also gonna establish boundaries for what kind of relationship you want with your pen pal. All these things are up in the air. Chat it out with your pen pal, figure out what works for you. And then lastly, I ask that you invite curiosity not only for yourself, but for those who are incarcerated. Again, it's very traumatic and it's violent on the inside. So lean into compassion, check your privilege, 
understand that you have so much more access than those people on the inside do. So act with loving kindness with your pen pal. Make sure you know why you're writing them. This is gonna help both of you in the relationship. Now, go, 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 visit our website, check out our pen pal guidelines, sign up today. We're looking forward to connecting with you. Thanks folks.